Hey, what's going on everybody? So Apple has just released watchOS 8.1 to the public. And this is overall is a pretty minor update, even though it is a feature update. There's just four new features here that Apple has added into watchOS 8.1. So this is an Apple Watch Series 6. And on this device here, the update came in at only 340 megabytes. So let's go ahead and talk about the new things here. So the first one here is Apple has enhanced the algorithms to detect falls during workouts, and there's now a new option to enable fall detection during workouts only. So if you have an Apple Watch Series 4 or later that has the fall detection, you can now uh, do that stuff. So obviously there was kind of a lot of false alarms with fall detection, especially when you're working out. So they've now made that a little bit better and a little more reliable so that you don't get those false uh, fall detections on your watch. Next thing here is something that was added into iOS 15.1 as well. And that's the ability to put your vaccination card in the wallet apps. So instead of getting your phone out, you can now just open the wallet app on your watch and you can display your status right there in case you need to identify that with somebody or a place, right? So yeah, you can now have that on your wrist. So that's nice. Third thing is Fitness Plus. So we have SharePlay was just added, of course, into iOS 15.1. So now with SharePlay, you have the ability on Fitness Plus to allow subscribers to invite up to 32 different people to work out together through a FaceTime call. So <laughs> that's pretty crazy, right? And then finally, this is actually a problem that I was experiencing. If you have a watch with the always on display, like the Series 5 or later, then there was an issue where the time was not accurate when their wrist is down. So like right now, uh, this is kind of like the little standby mode, the always on display. But when you look at it, of course, wow, this is kind of funny. There we go, okay. So obviously when you look at your watch, it brightens up. And then when you put your wrist back down, it kind of goes back in that standby mode. Well, when it's like this, then there was a problem where the time wasn't displaying. And I noticed that it was typically a minute or two off. And then when you look at it, raise your wrist up, it would go back to the correct time. So I haven't had that issue since updating. So I'm glad to see uh, that that is fixed because it's nice to, you know, kind of just quickly glance down at your watch without being obvious, you know, because you'd have to like pick it up and look at it, right? So it was nice to glance down and see a correct time uh, the other day. But yeah, as far as features go, that's pretty much it here in watchOS 8.1. Now there are quite a few of security related things here. So we can go ahead and hop over to the Apple security page and we can take a look at those. So if we kind of look at these real quick, they're really similar to the ones that I already showed you guys in the iOS 15.1 video. So a lot of them are basically the same thing. There's just a few of them missing uh, that were, you know, on the iPhone and stuff. But there are also some different ones here and I'll show you that. So uh, if you scroll down, you notice there's Game Center. That's pretty interesting, Game Center. Um, the IO Mobile Frame Buffer. Again, we have kernel stuff and WebKit, which is pretty big deals when you see that stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You have kernel, WebKit, UI Kit. Um, looks like the only ones that are watch specific is the Game Center and the IO Mobile Frame Buffer. That looks like, oh, and File Provider. Uh, that looks like a different one there. But yeah, I'll put these, uh, or this link, I should say, in the description below if you want to go check out the details of what they exactly fixed and what the issues were. But yeah, guys, as far as watchOS 8.1 goes, that is pretty much it. It's a feature update, but it's not too crazy of a feature update. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching the channel as always, and I will catch you all in the next video.